Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Jo from Plan to Create. Uh, today's video I'm going to go through my setup for December in my Stalogy that I have cut down to a standard TN size. I uh, currently have it in a hand stitched leather tee cover in light tobacco. If you've ever thought about getting a hand stitched leather tee and you weren't sure, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're really beautiful. Uh, they do scratch and, and mark up. Um, this colour, it's not sort of like they don't stand out. Um, a great deal the scratches and things um, but this is only new so I, I'm looking forward to how this will age I have an Ollie clip and I've had this teddy bear planner clip from Simply Danny Creations for a very long time and it goes from planner to planner with me okay so I do normally have on here a jelly cover that uh, Messy Bun Creations um, custom made for me to fit this one. When I cut, had this cut down, it's about three meter, uh, three meters, three millimeters too wide. Um, so to have it in here, I can't put the cover on it because the cover um, is a little bit too big. Um, I did have it in my. Giulio Giramondo Deluxe um, with my massively big pen mark on it that I would hide with if I put an Ollie clip on covers it perfect so um, but I just wanted to swap them out for this month okay uh, and just before I start on that I have cut down just to show you um, I've cut down a B6 Stalogy to a personal size. So I'm going to attempt to um, have that in here when I'm ready to try it. So I will remove the rings um, and slip the back pocket just in here. And hopefully... Uh, that will work so I'll let you know how that goes so I've also got a a five Stalogy that I've cut down to the correct size that's so 11 centimeters wide so that will go in there um, perfectly and I'll need to order another uh, jelly cover um, to fit that one because this is actually a bit big and this one which I did um, cut that a little bit bigger, a couple of millimetres, is a A5 Hobonichi uh, notebook. So I've got a couple of options for my standard size for next year. So I can either go, oh, and this one is actually a half year Stalogy, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, so yeah, they're the books that I have cut down ready for next year. Now I got um, a half year Stalogy because it's just going to get too chunky. This is from I think about the 12th of September I started this. Um, I still have lots of pages left so I'm probably not going to be able to complete this book because I won't, it won't fit in anything and that's why I'm going to try the half year. So, but I will definitely at least see December out um, in it and then I'll have to make the decision whether to keep going um, until it gets sort of unmanageable or just swap and start a new, uh, a new book for the new year. I know that as much as I sort of, I want to finish this, but there's nothing better than starting a new book in the new year so we'll see how we go okay so here we are for December now this is a uh, vellum that I made myself just with some these are available in stickers in my shop um, 
Unfortunately, I haven't found a vellum that my printer likes. So um, as much as I would love to sell them until I find the perfect match, I can't sell these because they're not, you can see there's some lines and it's not good enough quality for me to sell. So sorry about that. If anyone's got any recommendations, please comment below. Okay. So that's to start off and then we have the SM Plans freebie calendar for December. And then for the monthlies, um, I used to draw my monthlies out all the time when I was sort of bullet journaling. Um, but I find I just like to be able to stick them in. It's so much easier and saves a lot of time. So these are printables from... Uh, I forgot. Oh my God, who are they from? These are from Paper and Cats. They're a standard size uh, printable insert and I just cut them up and pop them in here. Here I have just a little, uh, my son's in his final year of primary school and he's starting high school next year. So this is just a calendar of events uh, for the last couple of months of his school year. So I just have, most of these dates are relating to my son. So he had the orthodontist, he, the final day for his homework due, their activity day, their graduation dinner and their last day. <clears throat> and then of course, Christmas day and Boxing Day sales. I have marked in. Okay, and then what I have here is a Christmas gift list. I have name, gifts, card, purchased, price, and given. So um, I'll either write in the gifts that I have purchased or gift ideas. Um, a lot of my family, we just give cards and money. So I can just fill them out, whether I've got them a card um, how much cash I'm given and tick it off when I give them to them. Hopefully I will see everybody at Christmas, but things don't always work out that way. So that's why I've put that little given column in so that if I don't see someone on Christmas, I know that I still have their presence. So that's the first section. Then I have just a page for notes with a, a little printable calendar from three years apart. Uh, they do um, printables each month that are free and they have uh, date covers um, and calendars and things on them. Okay, and then I've allocated a few pages for Christmas memories. Um, so I've got two pages there. I'm hoping to take some photos on Christmas. Um, if I remember, you all, I always forget, but, um, and just to pop them in and a little bit of journaling for um, my catch up with the family for Christmas. Then I decided to do a highlights page, um, sort of a memory keeping uh, page. I was doing some journaling in my Hibernici cousin, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, as you can see here, but I was starting to run out of supplies. So I've ordered a few more things and once they come in, hopefully I can pick that up again because I was using a lot of supplies on the page, which I really enjoyed, um, but you sort of got to build up a bit of a stash to be able to do that. Um, so I've already managed to pop in a highlight for December um, my poor son, he went to the orthodontist and he only had braces on his top teeth and he had to get some put on his bottom with elastics attaching the top braces and the bottom braces. He's not happy, but it'll all be worth it. So there's the highlights page and then I've gone straight into this week. So this is my standard um, weekly spread. Uh, where I just like to be able to see at a glance any appointments or major um, sort of events for the week. And then on my dailies, which is where I use the date covers from uh, three years apart, 
this is sort of my bullet journaling. I'm a lister, so it's just straight lists. Um, this was a freebie from Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, this was yesterday. Uh, and this is today. So hopefully this video will get up today. Um, so I've just set up the rest of this week and then pop down some washi from Simply Gilded, which I ended up using this skinny one. And that is how I have set up December this time round. Uh, normally, obviously, I wouldn't have the gifts page. I would have a notes page. I don't normally put memories in, but just being Christmas, and I thought I would try a highlights page because I haven't really done that before. I don't put trackers in. Um, I have set routines that um, I do on each day that I know in my head. So I just put them in my dailies. Uh, and then once it's ticked off here, that's good enough for me as far as tracking. I've tried, you know, big tracking pages and whatever but it's very i find it very hard to keep up with and halfway through the month i fall off and it doesn't get finished so i've decided that trackers aren't for me um but for those that can do them all hail to you because i just can't i fall off all the time but anyway so that's where we are all set up for december and we're all right to go. Alrighty, well thank you so much for stopping by. I do really appreciate your support and your comments. Would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you on Sunday with another video. Bye.